Hello there, my name is Don Thompson, along with my wife Colleen. We are the creators of Don Call Nature Products and the complete line of I Can Build It Woodworking Kits. Today we're going to assemble the chickadee box. When you've seen here this bird in your backyard, it's time to get your chickadee box up. We start by putting on our safety glasses. You use safety glasses whenever you're doing any kind of hammering. We're going to use a lightweight hammer and the nails provided in your kit. We're going to take the back and we're going to insert a nail into this bottom hole right here. We're then going to take the bottom and we're going to join the two together and create the letter L. Now children often find it difficult to hang on to this piece of wood so we're going to use two books to hold this piece up. Just like that. We put this piece on top, the back on top of the bottom. We tap it in three times. We pick it up to see if it's flush. It's a nice fit put it back in and I'm going to finish it off. We now have completed the letter L. There'll be a five second pause. This is step two. We're going to assemble the back and the bottom to the sides. We need three nails. This is our side piece. A nail goes here, a nail goes here, and a nail goes here. This has a long side. We're going to match long side to long side. We lay it down like this. Whenever we're working and joining two pieces like this, we're going to start in the corner. So we're going to start down here in the corner. We're going to tap this nail in three times. We go to the bottom, make sure it's nice and flush and fit. And flush, remember, means when two pieces of wood come together, they feel like one. Tap it in three times. And we make sure this is nice and flush. And we tap this in three times. We feel for the fit. It feels really good. I'm going to finish it off. working on a table, you may find children will prefer to work on the floor. It's easier for them and it reduces the noise significantly. Do the same on the other side. We'll take a five second pause now before we complete the next step. We're ready now to put on the front door. The easiest way to do is to turn it, the box on its side. It has two sides, a rough and a smooth. We're going to put the rough side in. We place it in. We're going to leave a little bit of a space right here. This allows for ventilation and also to ensure that the door opens properly when you put the roof on. We put in a single nail. We tap it all the way in. We turn the box over. Put in the nail again. Tap the nail. Drive it in. The door opens. The door needs to open for cleaning purposes. There'll be a five second pause now. We are ready to install the roof. You need four nails. We're going to place them in these holes. There are four holes in the top of the roof. Notice here there's a large space that goes on for top of the front opening so it fits on like this. We look from the back, we line it up using the nails as guides, we tap the nails in three times. We pick the box up to check, check the alignment. It looks good. We finish it off. In the back is a hole. Use any wood screw that you happen to have around the house to mount to a tree or post. Close it up to secure the front. Place a nail in the side here, just one nail. Just push it in with your hand and it locks the front door. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this project.